My name is Cheryl Bergstaller, and I direct Accessible Technology Services at the University of Washington in Seattle. Our services also reach out to our branch campuses in Bothell and Tacoma. My name is Hadi Rangin, and I'm a member of IT Accessibility Team at the University of Washington. Words appear using a screen reader. Hadi's an accessibility expert, and he's also a user of accessible technology. He uses a refreshable braille display and screen reading software that reads everything on the screen. I am blind and I use a screen reader program uh, at home and here and everywhere. Uh, a screen reader program is a software that communicates with the operating system and conveys the information uh, to me. Welcome. Blank. Accessible pages. Design features of this set. Design of this. You know, even if you are reading as a sighted person, you do not read every content at the same speed, right? Sometimes you have to make a pause and then, and then uh, review what you have read and then digest the information. For us, it's the same thing. When we are reading, for example, a, a normal conversation, we can read it very fast. And then, but when we are reading uh, technical content, uh, then, then we go a little slower, we make more pauses. Accessible University One. I have uh, slowed down my screen reader program. Matter. Setting level one graphic accessible university. Matter end. But if it is, for example, about email, I can go faster, 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 faster. Main menu navigation region. Show menu keyboard shortcuts button. Blank. Above menu submenu collapsed. I can go that fast. Link collapsed academics. But it's not enough for Hadi to have a screen reader. Websites must be designed accessibly in order for the screen reader to provide a full experience of the web page. I would like to show you uh, the two pages that are visually pretty much uh, consistent, uh, identical, uh, but one of them is accessible, one of them is not accessible. You will see in an inaccessible page uh, the, how difficult it is when those accessibility features are not present. Words appear. An accessible website. This is the that is the accessible version of a fictional university that we have developed here. We call that accessible university. Here, for example, on this accessible page, I can ask my screen reader to show me the major component of the page. Document regions dialog, regions review. It tells me we have a banner section. Main menu navigation. We have a main menu section. Main. And the main body. Apply now, form. And then there is another region. Content information. And content infor information, which is the same as footer section. So assuming the page has been developed correctly, I have good idea about the major component of the page. Words appear. An inaccessible website. Let me now go to see this page, the, the, access, the inaccessible version of this page. This is, this looks pretty much the same as the other one, the accessible version. But here, when I ask my screen reader to convey the major component, no regions were found it said that no region found. So for me, practically, accessible, accessible university. is that I have to read from top to bottom. Accessible university, all tab, untitled, no all tab. And if those accessibility features are not present, everything has the same weight. So we do not, we, there, is, there is no way for us to say that where in a major section starts or where it ends. It is really not just a fact, reading the t content. It is also about the navigation. We have to discover the page uh, and then that is the most time-consuming problem because you know once you know where you are what you are reading then then uh, uh, then it is uh, uh, then it is usually fine but the discovery process or navigation process is the most complicated process in a accessibility field in order to do it I have to read from top to bottom Whereas in the accessible version, I could easily see what, com what the major components were and then select the desired one and move to that section 
quickly. Leaving menus, heading list dialog, headings list view. Headings is also a means to get information about the uh, structure of the content. It gives me a good understanding, a good uh, overview about the major or minor component of the content. So I see that here. Welcome to Featured Story Slideshow 2, Accessible University 1. It's a Accessible University itself is a heading 1. And uh, access uh, uh, under that we have Featured Stories, Features Story, which is a heading 2. It automatically conveys the information that this section is a subsection of the heading above. You know, see that also the overall get an outline of the page and the major sections of that. That is the difference between accessible and inaccessible. That screen reader can only access the text that's presented on the screen. And so if someone just scans in a document uh, and puts an image up on their website, that screen reader is not going to be able to read that content. And so the web developer, in that case, needs to know to create all their materials so that they're accessible to a screen reader. In other words, so that they can access uh, the text uh, for that screen reader to uh, read it aloud to a person who's blind. Message from Hi all. It's essential that people with disabilities have access to assistive technology, but that's not the end of the story. In order for them to be effective users of technology, the technology that other people develop, like websites and software and PDF files and so forth, must be designed in such a way that they can use it with their assistive technology. Words appear. For more information about IT accessibility, consult uw.edu slash accessibility. This video presentation was created with funding from UWIT. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation. Copyright 2017, University of Washington.